Getting web hosting is only the first part of publishing your site. The next thing to do is configure WebPlus to communicate with your web host. In this video, I'll show you how to add your hosting details, test them to check they're working correctly, and then view your site on the internet. To complete this tutorial, you'll need to have set up web hosting. For a serif web hosting only, watch the first video in the series, Web Hosting 1, Setting up WebPlus.net Web Hosting. I'm going to use my Serif web hosting details, which I set up in the previous video, but you can use a different web hosting provider if you want to. So let's get started. You may already have the account details dialog open, ready to add your hosting details. If you don't, you'll need to open this now. On the standard toolbar at the top of the workspace, click on the down arrow next to Publish Site and select Publish to Web. In the Use Existing Hosting and Domain Name section, click Add Details. First, create an account name. This can be anything, but it's best to try and keep it simple. Next, you'll need to add the FTP details. For this step, we'll copy and paste directly from our hosting account. This will minimise the possibility of making mistakes while copying the details. If you haven't already accessed your web hosting account, you'll need to do this now. If, like me, you've got Serif web hosting, type www.serif.com into a web browser. In the top right hand corner, click Sign In. Enter your email address and follow the instructions to log into your Serif account. In the My Web Plus Hosting section, at the bottom of the page, Click Manage My Web Plus Hosting Accounts. Your hosting details will be displayed. For third party hosts, your hosting details may be on an email or accessible through your hosting account control panel. Contact your hosting provider direct for more information. Let's go back to Web Plus to see which detail we need to copy first. A quick way of navigating between your web browser and Web Plus is to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard whilst you press the Tab key. Press Tab until the correct window is selected and then let go. OK, first we need the FTP address. Navigate back to your browser using Alt Tab and then locate the detail you need to copy. Click and drag on the page to select the FTP address, taking care not to select any empty spaces before or after. Right click and select Copy. Press Alt Tab again and get back to Web Plus. Click inside the FTP address field and then right click and select Paste. The FTP address has appeared in the dialog. Let's move on to the next detail, Folder. If I Alt Tab to get to my browser, you can see there is no entry for Folder. This is because WebPlus.net hosting doesn't require you to upload to a folder, so we can leave this field blank. If you're using a different hosting provider, double check your hosting details to see if there's a specific folder you'll need to upload to. Back in WebPlus, the next detail we need is username. Use Alt Tab to go back to your browser and copy your username. Navigate back to Web Plus and paste the username in the correct field. For security reasons, your password won't be displayed on your hosting account details page. Instead, you can simply type your password straight into the correct field of the account details dialog. You can choose to add the website URL for viewing your site after publishing. Copy the URL and paste it into the website URL field. Notice that this address uses the prefix that you created when you set up your hosting account. To complete the setup, click OK. Click Test to test your settings and make sure everything is working. Note that it can take up to half an hour for your hosting account to be active, so it's worth waiting for this time to pass before trying again. If not, double check your hosting details and internet connection and then retry. If you continue to experience problems, contact your web hosting provider. When the test has been successful, click Update Account. 
In the Publish to Web dialog, select Individual Pages to publish or click Publish All Pages. In future, you can always just publish individual pages if it's just a couple of pages that you need to update. To safeguard your WebPlus site, you can check Back up the document to Remote Server. This uploads a copy of your WPP file to the web along with your site. It's really useful in case your file ever gets lost or your computer fails. See WebPlus Help for more information. When you're ready to publish your site, click OK. If your site is unsaved, you'll be prompted to save it at this point. WebPlus will seek an internet connection and then upload your files. You'll see a message when all your files have been successfully uploaded. When the upload has finished, click Close. When you've published your site, you can view it on the internet whenever you like. Type your website's URL into a web browser and press Return. And that's it! I hope you've managed to get your site online successfully. To find out more, See the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.